English as you call them. I'm a designer maker and a creative director at Stitchville Limited. I will show you a range of knitting techniques. In this video tutorial I will show you how to knit a beret. Beret is a hat which is um, constructed in a very specific way. As you can see, after the rib which pulls the fabric in on the edge here, it actually goes wider. So at first we increase stitches and only after we have increased stitches we start decreasing again, which you can actually see here. Berets are normally constructed on the number of stitches that is divisible by eight. It's very helpful to use this formula because it produces a really neat shaping on the top of the hat. Sometimes beret has pom-poms, but you can also make little loops just to adorn the top of a beret. After working about eight rounds or equivalent of two centimeters of one by one rib, which consists of knit one and purl one repeats all around, we are ready to switch to stockinette stitch, which in the round uh, simply means that we knit all the stitches. When you complete your round and come around to the first marker of the following round, you are going to increase using the yarn over increase. So we're going to knit until we reach the last stitch before marker and then we're going to go behind the working yarn and put it on the needle and then we're going to proceed to knitting the following stitch. Now what happens here, an increase is created. So this is a new stitch we have created. And when we knit it in the next round, we will produce an increase that will look just like that. If you work three increase rounds, you would add 24 extra stitches. At this point, you would reach the widest part of your hat which is here. Once you have reached that point, we will switch from increasing stitches to decreasing stitches. In the decrease section of a classic beret, decreases happen in every other round. So again, we will have a repeat of two rounds. In the first round, which is the decrease round, you would work to two stitches before your marker. And then, if you want the result that is visible in this particular hat, you would use a special decrease technique which is called slip slip knit. This works as follows. You go into one knit stitch as if to knit, but you actually do not knit. You just slip that stitch onto right hand needle. You repeat this with the next stitch. So again, you go into the stitch as if to knit, and then simply slip it onto the right hand needle. When this is done, you will insert your left hand needle into both stitches. Now you're in a position to knit. So we're going to go and grab the yarn and bring it through both stitches. So we had two stitches, now we have one stitch. The difference it makes is that the stitch which is to your right overlaps the stitch on your left, thus producing this result. The second round of our repeat would be a plain round, also known as the even round. We would then repeat those two rounds until only eight stitches remain. At this point, you can either thread the working yarn through all the remaining stitches and close the top of the hat, as shown in the how to make a beanie or how to make a hat video tutorials. Alternatively, you can make a little loop just like this one. To do that, you would split your remaining eight stitches into two and you would then only work on four stitches. You can use any pattern you wish. And this is how to knit a beret.